What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm back in the new shop and I'm gonna start working on this 2024 Silverado that we picked up here about a week or so ago. And uh, kinda wanna try to rebuild this thing in 48 hours. So I'm gonna start the clock as soon as I start working on it here and uh, keep track of everything and see how fast I can rebuild this whole entire truck. So I already did go and pick up a, a new cab and a new box and some other parts for it. And the brand new frame is here. I'll show you that in a little bit, but pretty much gonna start by throwing in a new axle shaft, new bearings and uh, new disc brakes and a few other parts here. And uh, should be able to get this thing uh, driving. And I have a few ideas. I wanna go take it for a little spin around before we start pulling apart here. And uh, you know, make sure everything works on it first, right? So, but I just, I just started um, pulling the cover off the back here. I'm just gonna pull this uh, axle shaft out here. And actually everything looks pretty good on the axle except for where it just kind of snapped the end off there. So just was letting this oil drain. I mean, the oil's like, Oh, it's hard to tell in there, but it's like brand new because this thing's only got 6,000 K on it or something. So, but pretty much just pull this cover off here, uh, install this new axle shaft, and then maybe go take it for a little drive and see uh, <laughs> see if we can uh, cruise this thing around a little bit. So I'm pretty sure on these ones you just pull this uh, cover off here. Let's pull the other bolt out, and then I think there's just like a C clip inside here to hold the axle shaft in. So. So we pretty much just pop this little clip off here. Pulled this out of here. Now the axle shaft should, should just slide right in. So I'm also gonna change this, uh, the axle seal and the actual uh, bearing inside there so just in case probably don't need to but might as well get three in here and it was only like 20 bucks too for this uh this bearing in here
my god. That's actually gonna be cool. If you screenshot that, that'd be a sick like cover. <laughs> <laughs> the blood on driver <laughs> That's so funny. See, it's like I don't care, I just want to play fetch. <laughs> Burn out the way like I'm Alrighty, so I got this thing running and driving actually pretty good. So we did a few donuts with it and, and uh, just kind of drove it around. So works pretty good. It did have a little bit of oil in the, in the exhaust there. So it kind of burnt off, but it's not smoking anymore. So that's a good sign. And I mean, there was no, the oil in the motor was actually still at full. So that's all good. I mean, uh, <laughs> it's pretty much damaged anywhere, but the suspension and uh, didn't leak any fluids out. So, I mean, that's a plus, which is pretty crazy for how badly damaged this thing is. But uh, did pick up this, uh, this is gonna be the donor cab for it, or was gonna be the donor cab for it, and then also the donor box. So these are all just uh, takeoffs, and this one's in really good shape, so I picked it up a little bit ago here. But um, I ended up buying a parts truck, which I haven't decided if I'm gonna fix or if I'm gonna use uh, for a donor for this truck, because I'll show it to you, it's right here. Um, this one is a 2023 Chevy Silverado, but it's only got the, 2.7 liter uh, turbo motor in it, but uh, I picked it up for a smoking deal and uh, It's really not badly damaged. So I think I might actually end up just fixing this thing. So I'll show you the damage on this side here um, Start at the front, but it pretty much just broke the, the Steering knuckle. So whatever I hit it uh, Just busted the steering knuckle. I'll show you the bumpers in the box, but it's just like a tiny little dent in the bumper cover um, the hood is completely fine and uh, everything underneath the hood here I can pop the hood So the rad support and everything is fine and this headlights fine the grill I'll show it to you in a second is actually fine um, There's just a tiny bit of damage to like these fender brackets here Which you just buy new ones and bolt on but I don't think this actually this headlight bracket is actually even damaged uh, a little bit of damage right here, which I could probably just pull it out honestly because it didn't really wreck anything else on this uh, rad support and uh, Just like one little push it back just a little bit here So you just straighten that out and then as far as the suspension goes, I mean The tie rod end they must have obviously undid it because it Didn't rip it off there the lower a arm is it just broke the ball joint. So I just uh, I was thinking I could just put new upper and a upper and lower a arms on there new sway bar link and uh I, I bought it this thing originally because I thought it had frame damage, but if you look here, it just hardly skidded the, the paint off the frame there. And uh, as far as the door, yeah, I wrecked the front, the door and the front fender, but uh, there's a little bit of damage along the side here. Just a little ding in the door here and a little ding in the rocker pan or the cab corner and then the box. So I could probably push that box out because it's not bad at all, honestly. Or worst case scenario, you just change the box out on this. But uh, this this should pop out of the cab corner pretty easy, and uh, it's a pretty plain Jane truck. But for the price I got it for, um, I think it's probably worth fixing because it's so easy. I think I haven't lit it up yet. I don't actually I don't have any keys for it actually. So I'll throw the battery on here, and we can see if we can get the display to light up. But this side's pretty much mint, tailgate's mint. Came with all the parts, and you can see here it just busted the the knuckle and pop the upper uh, ball joint out of there but it luckily they gave me all the parts because sometimes they don't give you any parts and uh the shutter is actually fine the grill <laughs> is actually perfectly mint so uh you can just reuse that grill and i just need one headlight and then like the fascia here so and then there's a few other parts in the box here. so obviously the wheel well liner it's no good but the dent in the front bumper cover or the front bumper is that's the only dent in it's so obviously have to change that but like it didn't get hit very hard on the front there and uh the cab and everything is pretty mint there's a ford f-150 headlight in the back here and this is the headlight off it it's kind of mangled but i think i'm just gonna actually fix this truck because it it honestly be a really easy really easy fix so uh just light it up here and see how many we can figure out how many k are on this thing because it didn't say and i got no keys so i had to get a to get key fob. 
All right, so let's boost it up here. And I think you have to open the driver's door to be able to get uh, for the display to light up there. But this door was a little bit jammed. Just the way it was, I just didn't want to wreck the back door. But. I don't know if I have to open the door or how do I make this thing light up here? It does have power, but I might have to just because this one doesn't quite want to close. I might have to just get a screwdriver and just pop that little door lock. And uh because you shouldn't need a key for it to light up just the kilometers on the display here. So maybe if I uh just pop this like the door's closed and then open it back up, it'll It'll show me the, the display. Okay, there we go. Now it's lighting up. So, I'm going to try to open it. Oh, there we go. So, it's got 22,634 kilometers on it. So, I mean, it's actually pretty mint. So, I, I was, was just going to use this as a parts truck, but it only blew one airbag on the inside. And uh, the roof airbags are all good. Door panel's good. This door's obviously no good, but it just pushed it back here a little bit. So I think I'm just gonna fix this thing because most of the parts are available. I'll just need pretty much a fender and a door, some suspension parts and a bumper fascia bar. The shutters and the grill are actually all good. The hood's perfect. And uh, yeah, everything else looks pretty good. So I think I'm just gonna end up using this as a, or just fix this thing just because it was so cheap. So uh, out the door at the auction, this thing was 13,700 bucks with everything. So I could probably fix it for like under 10 grand in uh, parts. So have a pretty cheap truck for that, for just over 20 grand, so. But yeah, I thought the frame was definitely pooched on this thing. That's what it said in the ad, or I said in the listing and no keys or anything. So that's kind of why it went so cheap. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll just try to fix it. I'll see how quick I can fix it. Maybe it could just be like a, a 10 hour fix and it uh, depends on the door pillar there. And uh, if I can pop that, all that indents out pretty easy. But for now, I'm just gonna put off this uh, 2024. Maybe I'll start working on it here in a bit and uh, get this body switched over. So unless I can find another parts truck for uh, everything else, but I'll just hold off on this for now. And uh, I'm just gonna try to fix this one. Uh, see how quick we can fix it. And, Try to do it as cheap as possible. Obviously, change everything that's broken, but uh, should be a pretty easy fix. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, tune in for the next one. Peace.